um, just coming on very quickly to share this project that I've been working on. Well, it, it, it's just Christmas basically, and I've just been doing a load of tags, getting ready and whatnot. Anyway, I've come on to show you what I've been up to basically. So we have this background music stamp, music sheet music stamp and it is one of the background stamps so it is as big as you can see <laughs> um, and what I've been doing is I've just been stamping on some Whisper White cardstock with my basic black oop don't think this is the archival let me just see no basic black ink I'm just going to put that all over the stamp. This year I've had to change my colours in the living room because we've decorated and all and the living room is now silver and black. So I'm trying to get ahead because normally I have a lot of tags and stuff in my stash because the last couple of years I've not changed my decor but this year we have so I'm just inking this up with the basic black and I am using me um it's like the misty um, because if I've missed anywhere on that stamp I can always go back in again and re-stamp it. So I'm just going to push that over, give it a good squish down, and hopefully I won't have to go over it. Yeah, that's come out perfect. Absolutely perfect. I won't have to go over that. It's all made up. <laughs> Take it off, put my magnets back on, move that out of the way till I can clean it. Okay, so there's our sheet music. Just take my glasses off, don't need them that close up. Um, I'm just going to go over this very quickly to dry it on the using our heat gun and I'm just going to put it on the first heat setting just to dry that ink off. Just to make sure it's all dry because I don't want to go smudging it. Now I'm just going to go on, this is like the, oh what's it called, the Versa Mark, it's just like a watermark ink and I'm just going to cover this whole sheet covering all the music and you won't be able to see it because obviously it's clear Got it all over. I need to have to get up and get me other one. That doesn't look as though it's very sticky, so just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Now I know this one, the pad on it is, oh Christ, that was stays on. <laughs> See it in front of me. I know this pad on this one is absolutely filthy, but it does the job. So I'm just going to go back in again. That's better. So although we can't see it, we can hear it. <laughs> And what I'm going to be using is our heating stick. 
Now this, what this is, it's like an embossing powder. But what it actually does is when you put the heat on it, it just melts it. Um, and makes it very sticky. So that you can add your own glitter and stuff to it. So I think that's well inked up. I'll have to order a new one of them. So this is the heat and stick powder. Um, and what I always like to do is decant it from that and put it in a tub. It just makes it a hell of a lot easier and less messy. So I'm just going to decant this. This is a new tub. Okay, you can always put bits and bobs in that after that. But that's just what I like to do, just to... Um, I'm just going to tear this off the bottom. Just to keep all the mess in the one place. <laughs> Scoop it up using this bit of paper. Okay, and what you do is put it in the tub, go all over your project. I'll have to get a spoon. Not doing a very good job. Make sure you put it all over. Now because this is finer than embossing powder, you will notice that it does actually melt quicker than the embossing powder. Um, so don't go overheating it because otherwise you'll just ruin your project, whatever you're doing. Um, just want to make sure I've got it all covered. I hope it didn't go too much out of frame, sorry. I'm just um, covering this with our heat and stick. I'm just trying to stop it from being as messy as I can by keeping it in the tub. So yeah, this, because it's finer than the embossing powders, you will notice that it does melt quicker. And what you want to do is, as soon as you have melted it, um, I'm just bringing me other tub in, um, cover it in whatever medium you want to cover it in. Um, so if you've got me on loud, just... Turn me down <laughs> because I'm just going to put the heat gun on and I've got it on the highest setting. Okay, and you will notice that it does melt. You can see that melting already. It's far quicker than the embossing powders, far, far quicker. So try not to stay on one place for too long. Okay, I think we've got all that. So turn that off for a minute and now I'm just going to bring in my Dazzle and Diamonds glitter or well 
your dazzling diamonds may in a dress and glitter. <laughs> I'm just pouring it all over. So I see what I said about putting it in the tubs and it makes it just keeps the mess contained. So I'm just pouring that all over. And then we're just going to give it another blast with the heat. Just to make sure that, that glitter sinks into that. Um heat and stick that's all just moving my glitter out the way come back in with the heat gun just going to melt it again so that as all the glitter will stick And I know this, this stamp is directional, um, but I never ever read music. I mean, I can play chopsticks on the piano and I can play the drums, but I never ever read music. <laughs> so don't ask me which way up it goes. <laughs> I've got all that now so I'm just going to leave that to dry just for one minute well a couple of minutes while we get on with the rest of it um, so as you can see all the glitters all you probably can't see because I've got the blinds tilted up because the sun is blinding um, and I'm just going to bring these in now I'm sure you've all made rosettes I'm sure you have um, I've just took a piece of um, smoky slate card, cut it at one half inches and scored every half inch. Now you're going to do mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley folds. So it's just like a Constantina. Just like that. Okay, and you're just going to give it a nice little squash. Now you are going to need more than one A4. So I've cut two and I've just done exactly the same and because I want them to stay secure I'm just going to use my heat gun, um, my glue, heat glue gun and I'm just going to stick these two together. So I'm just going to tell you see me in sticky stuff. Just going to stick them two together there. Okay, so that will give us a nice um, ready set. Just gather it all up again. Okay, and these are going to be tags from my presents this Christmas. So now to work out how long you want it to be. So let's just see. I'm just hooking the other end into the opposite end. And I'm just going to turn it. Bring all the ends in together. And flatten it down. <laughs> and in actual fact, it is going to take the two um, pieces. Okay. So I'm just going to throw some hot glue in the centre of that now to keep it all together you watch I'll probably end up stuck to the desk <laughs> ok just give that a minute to cool down keeping it taut between your fingers so it doesn't move about anyway. I'm 
Okay, just blob that down. Stuck into my finger. Ugh. So there you go. Um, just put a, another blob in. So you're all waiting in <laughs> anticipation for the new catalogue to come out. Um, I have to admit, I'm not going to be false. There's nothing false about me. Yeah, they take me as you see me or don't take me at all. <laughs> um, I have to admit, this year I was a little disappointed, um, to be honest with you. Because, I'm just looking for a little brush I can use to blow some of that. No, they must be in my other room. Um, I don't find the catalogue this year as nice as what it was last year. That's all dry now. So, I'm just going to take my two inch, two and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm just going to cut out some of these circles. And this is the beauty with the heat and stick. I don't like glitter. I can't stand glitter. Um, because it gets everywhere but you see when you use this heat and stick no it doesn't shed like normal glitter it's brilliant so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to put it all over the back of one of these discs and this will help to, to support that rosette as well so I'm just going to do that, I'm just going to put it over there, squish that down as well. <laughs> this is a two inch one that I've done as well so we'll see how we get on with this one. This was the one half inch and scored at every half inch. Okay and I need some more whisper white because I want to do me to and from. So I'll just pick this up. Um, I need a stamping block. What have I done with them? I'm having to be a bit quieter than normal because his lordship He's in bed. He's on nights tonight. So. Shh. <laughs> Otherwise he'll be getting up and shouting at me. But all that bloody noise. No, he won't. <laughs> no, he won't. He's not like that. <laughs> okay, so we've got our to and from, and I'm just going to go back in with the black ink. And this is what you will find me doing tonight, probably, all night, and then I'll get them put in a box out the road. And I hope this stamps because I've not got me stamping that underneath. And I'll just do another one, because I know I was off shot and I didn't want you shouting at me. Um, if anybody would like a copy of the new catalogue, please feel free to leave me a message underneath in the comments and um, I'll get in touch with you. I'll get your address and get one in the post yet. Oh, I've got thing like that there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We can use it. Right, so I'm going to take one of these sails. I'm just going to Go over it a little bit, punch that out, 
and the same with this one. Punch that out. Get rid of that. Get rid of that one. Close my ink up before it ends up everywhere. Okay, and now we can put the back on the back of one of these rosettes. This just makes a little different of a name tag, gift tag. Um, the ones in the shops are alright, but you know a little hand touch, I think, goes down better. <laughs> so there we go, there's our rosette. I'm going to take my one eighth hand punch and let me see. Just in this one, straight up the top, I'm just going to put a punch a hole. Okay, so I've got my hole in the top there. Okay, and now I'm just going to take... Now this ribbon was from... I'm going to say last Christmas. Um, it's not in this catalogue, but I just want to use it and get it out the road. So please forgive me. Um, but yeah, it's what I'm going to use. I'm sure you've all got plenty of ribbon knocking about anyway. Um, I'm just going to go from the front to the back and loop it through. That's if I can get it to go through. Some pokey tool. Come on. No, it's having none of it with that ribbon. Let me see. Yeah, I have the one eight silver ribbon. So we'll take some of that. Thread that through. If it'll go, okay. So there's our ribbon through through the loop, pull it taut, and then I've got some one eighth red ribbon. This is grow grey, I think. I'm just going to cut some of that off just to bring a bit of colour in. I know we've got our glitter but just bring some red colour in. And what we can do is Tie that in a bow. Oh, Mel. <laughs> Come on, woman. How hard can a bow be, honestly? See? Right, <laughs> last attempt and it's going to get flung. Losing the will now. <laughs> okay. Cut 
that off. Okay, so there's one of our tags. And that's a bit wonky, isn't it? <laughs> we'll give it another go with the two inch one. Right, so I've cut two A4 strips at two inches. Again, I have scored them at every half an inch and concertinaed them. And I'm just going to stick that one to that one to make us give us a bigger circle. I've already started my Christmas shopping. Um, yeah, and all in the spare room my grandbabies. So there's our two strips stuck together. Give that a good squash. Now we're going to take the opposite ends of them and we're going to hock them in together. Okay we're just going to glue them there. So a line of hot glue. Put that one over that one. Give it a squash. Okay, bend it back in, gather it all up again, and as if you're going to flatten it down, um, what do you know? <laughs> I thought I'd come on and show you, it's not that flipping hard. My lord. Right. <laughs> I'm going to pop a load of hot glue in there. Okay, I'm going to stick my two and my from on there so that I can turn it over. Give it a minute. Okay, so I've got that that far. Get some hot glue on the top. want to make sure my two of my frames going that way. So put that on there. We're going to take our handheld punch and we're going to just put it in there. Come on. Okay, just put a hole in there as you can see. I'm going to take my, again, my silver one eighth of an inch um, ribbon. Get your two points up at the top. Hopefully they'll both go through at the same time. it through the back, through the loop at the front and pull it taut. Okay, I have got me thing the right way up. Yeah, and then we have our music sheet on the front. Our silver ribbon. I'm going to leave them quite long because I am going to tie them. I'm going to take some red 1 8 grow grain ribbon. I'm going to tie this around the top just to bring in some colour. And I tie this in a bow. This one was a bit better. I must have had the ribbon too short on the other one. Oh well. So I'll just 
shorten that a little bit. Now you can either keep them long, your tails, or you can cut them off, it's entirely up to you. But there's our two tags and what we done was, we took our piece of Whisper White, we stamped on our sheet music stamp, that's the really big background stamp. We covered it in VersaFine, VersaMark. Then we went over it with our heat and stick powder. Heated it up with the heat tool. Went over it with our Dazzling Diamonds. You would have. I've got too, far too much of that glitter to use before I can get justify getting the dazzling diamonds so but you would have dazzling diamonds or whatever glitter you you wish to use sprinkle it in your heat and stick okay we left that to go cold while we worked on our rosettes and for the smaller one you're going to need two strips of one half by eleven and a quarter I think it is a full A4 well two lengths um, of one half um, of an A4 sheet of paper. You're going to glue each end together, you're going to push it down um, push it down so that you've got your centre part you're going to put some hot glue on the top, stick your sheet music on and then on the back you're going to put cut another two inch circle and stick your to and from. You're then going to punch the top Put through your ribbon and then I've just used the red 1 8 ribbon just to throw a bit of colour in there in the mix um, and you're going to thread that and bow that on the front and for this one, the bigger one, because I mean let's face it we don't all give little, little gifts do we, you do have some big ones and what have you, this one is a 2 inch, it's cut 2 strips at 2 inches of a fully a sheet for length. Um, you score it at every half an inch. Then you concentrate it mountain and valley folds. Okay, so it gives you like that mountain and valley. You do glue the two ends together on one side, so that gives you a full strip. Then you glue the other two ends together. Then what you do is gather it all up on your table, push it down so that it lays flat. You're going to come along with your hot glue, put it in the middle or whatever glue you wish to use. Hot glue is quicker for me. Um, stick on your top, flip it over and then you're going to do exactly the same on the back. Come in with your hot glue and stick on your bottom and that's you ready to go and there is two lovely sparkly um, gift tags. I just thought they were a bit different from the ones that you buy in the shop and who doesn't like homemade. Okay so I hope you give that a go um, and I shall take care all and I shall speak to you all soon so take care for now bye